<laughs> He's not gonna look at the camera. Ow! Ow! There you are. Hi, Shadow. Hey, baby. Hey. You all should remember Shadow. He's been a little depressed lately. He's purring for the attention right now. He's also saying, let me out. Let me down. I don't know why I'm here. But yeah, he's been kind of moping since his girlfriend died. I've been a little worried about him. Show them your pretty eyes. Yeah, you got pretty eyes. Look at those pretty eyes. Can't have him being depressed, huh? Oh, hi, baby. All righty, all right. I'm gonna give you back to her because I know you don't want to be here. There, do you want to go back to your window? He's gonna want to go back to his window. Or he's gonna want to get up there and get the food. No, you cannot have spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it though. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. We hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug says, says kiss today hello. Took me a little while to do that this morning. And she has my faith mug from a set of four that I got from Kroger a year or two ago now. And my tea is the organic ginger peach green tea that was sent to me uh, from my subscriber Michelle. So we're gonna try that today. The tea bags in here are very, very small. So we went ahead and put in two. We have out, however, we have not put in the, a cinnamon stick because we wanna try it just the way it is. And what tea do you have? I have organic golden chai spice by stash. One of my favorites. I really love that tea. All right, we're going to give this one a sip and see how she tastes and get started. Definitely got peach. But it's almost... <laughs> It's almost an artificial peach for a, for a tea. She's like, I don't like peach. <laughs> I do get the ginger in there. Um, hmm. It's been steeping for a while, so I think this is the flavor it is, and I'm just going to have to think about it. But we will take a look at it again at the end of our video. So first of all, you'll notice that she's here and we are not doing an Ipsy unbagging. <laughs> we are going to play, this is going to be kind of awkward because she's going to have to move her seat out of the way eventually. And we are going to play with a new temporary hair dye. This is from Crown Paint Colors. This just came in. And... Um, I, as you all know, I've been trying the wax color from Ors Curls Unleashed. And that stuff is just a little too heavy for my hair. It disrupts my curl pattern. It straightens out my hair when I use it. So I've been interested in trying something different. This is a non-wax type of hair dye. I picked up their little four sample pack. They put it in a pretty little bag. So here's the pack. As you can see, I got a blue, I got a silver, I got a purple, see. and a red. But So here's the pack, like that. I love the little bag, which I was gonna say I can't open, but that would be standard for me, right? So it has cards. Uh, she sent temporary hair dye, lasts three to five days, gone in one shampoo, over 60 colors available. I have read a little bit about how to apply it. And she includes four highlights and some other little tips on how to use it. So that little card is nice. Uh, we've also got transfer tips, apply color to damp hair and then dry, apply light hairspray or gel. Apply the color in thin layers, drying in between each layer. We're not gonna be able to do that today, but we are gonna be able to play with this a bit just to show you what it looks like on the hair. And then she gave us her card. So I don't remember how much I spent on this. I don't think it was that much. They These are little 0.5 ounce jars. 
This one is Fairy Wand in a shimmer blue green. Oh, it shimmers. Yeah, I got some shimmer colors. Then we have, this one I'm testing for a white or a silver. This one is in frosting, it's a satin white. We're planning a uh, cosplay where I'm going to need to... Um, Do some color. <laughs> bring out my rogue stripes a little bit more <laughs> so uh yeah i wanted to try their white to see if that would work for that this is in supreme purple it just says purple i think it's supposed to be a matte purple this one's not going to have a shimmer to it and this one is in fire which is a dark red you want to try it. Your hair is already red. We're not going to be able to see I it. I had it refresh the color. You can see it, okay? <laughs> You're just being snotty today. Alrighty. So, I'm getting it. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. Oh, wow. So that's what the... Wow. I told you. That is really red. <laughs> You're going to see something. So there's that one. And then give me a minute to open the rest, and then we'll, I'll open them all up for you to see. So on the plus side, they are really well wrapped. Here is the purple. Oh, she bright. She bright. There's the blue, which is very similar to... The blue uh, that I have in the Ors Curls Unleashed, which is why I got it. I wanted that for a fairly. Is it on your fingers? Leave it. And here is the white, which is definitely just a white. Okay, I am shimmery. And you are shimmery? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so we're each gonna, I guess we're gonna play with some color here. She wants to play with the red. So this is how you're supposed to apply it. I'll grab the purple. Like I said, one of the things I want to test is how it's going to react with my curl, if it's going to weigh it down. I am putting it on dry hair instead of damp, but I'm not planning to keep it on for very long. And I have noticed that several of the YouTubers that have, um, have videos of this up on their channels have also done theirs on dry hair. You do have to let the dye dry, but I just, right now we're just testing it and playing around. So, first thing you do is you open it up. Yeah, you wore, wore the wrong shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you get some on your finger and then you rub it between your fingers. I guess that's to help activate it or smooth it out. Wow, that's actually very creamy. It is. It's very, very, I like that. And then you just apply it to your hair. It doesn't feel as heavy as the wax, but it is straightening out my curl a bit. It might work better if my hair were... I can't see. Damn. It's... Yeah, it's going to, I'm trying to do it in thinner layers. It's all over my fingers. Well, yes, Mom, it's all over your fingers. It's yeah. gluing my hair together. But like the wax, I'm able to bounce it up and restore some of that curl, it looks like. When she's done, I'll take a look at the mirror. Yeah, okay. It's it's pretty similar to the wax. It's not a wax, but it's pretty similar to the wax in that when I apply it, it does straighten everything out. But, um, but bouncing it, I think it restores more of my curl than with the wax, than the wax does, which is nice. And if you want it more vibrant, you just add more layers. So normally you would just let this dry and then you would add another layer over it to bring out. So there, we gotta try the white.
but see, you can make it more vibrant. I have a hard time making the wax more vibrant because the more of the wax I put on, the harder it is to get my hair to restore its curl. Yeah, I see it. I see it. It looks like... You think about using this for your Phoenix? No, I think I would just straight up do box dye or okay. get a wig. Okay, because that, that be... looks like flame. Oh, I mean, if I were to do a stylized color, then possibly. All right, so we got to test the white. The purple is looking really good, but I've got to test the white. We are going to let the girl have fun with her mother's hair. <laughs> it does come off. The purple's yes, coming it, off. It does, but it's like two kids in paint class. <laughs> like a couple of kindergartners it just it does come off your fingers takes a little effort but it does come off your fingers <laughs> and red is a stainer man any and anything red stains <laughs> you got stained fingers now I think the tips there I think I need another one just cuz <laughs> gonna leave this here and leave it open so it is buildable um but the more it builds, the more like the wax it becomes in that, as you notice, it's, I'm bouncing it and it's not restoring the curl. Um, and the wax does that. So, um, yeah, I can use it, but again, it would have a trouble with a vibrant color, at least using it dry. Um, oh, wow. That feels a little... This blue feels a little looser than the others. Must be the shimmer. Might be. And that didn't, that didn't really, wow, that didn't even bother the curl that much. So the matte ones have a thicker consistency, I guess. So maybe if I put it on wet hair, I'd have less of a problem. Or you could use an oil to thin them out. out. See if the oil will, well, there's a way to test that. So what we're here to do is to play around with it, test it around, show it off a little bit. Now, again, when I add more, I do end up with less curl. Okay, so we can test the white with the oil, with the oil theory. What do we say? Let's try that. Put out your hand. Find a spot and play. Did that help thin it out at all? I can't tell yet. I think I need to pick up more. <laughs> Probably. The oil may, may cause issues with it too. If you're gonna do this for yours, you're gonna have to put in like a ton to make that work. Yeah. And it's straightening out the curl. I can see it. Let me just bounce it up and see if it'll bring it up that way. Is it bringing it back? A little bit. Okay, so we're going to have, it looks like, unless I'm using a conditioner type. Um, I can't really see it from back there. They can't. Okay, yeah, there it is. So it looks like I'm gonna to have to try the conditioner type, like the overtone. This brand is coming out. This is uh, Crown Paint. Um, this brand is coming out with a conditioner type uh, color as well. More? Well, is it giving me a white that you would be happy with for a white stripe? Yeah, I just don't think you'd be happy with your texture after said white stripe. Yeah. Because to make that like really cover all your hair and not look like salt and pepper, you're going to have to basically saturate it. Um, like I said, we're gonna, I'm going to try to play with it with, um, with the damp hair like it says, with wet hair like it says, mm -hmm. and see if that helps. Also, as I recall, Rogue doesn't have curly hair, so if you, my hair is wavy hair. Yeah, I'd have to kind of tone down my curls anyway. If I apply it with the very tips of my fingers, 
and just very carefully dab it in. Looks like I can get a fuller coverage without losing my curl too much. We've got a whole year to play with it. <laughs> yes, we do. But you can see it now. Yeah, yeah, you can. And the curl doesn't look like it's too disrupted, except for where you put it in. Well, I'm sorry. No, 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 we're playing with it. I'm not upset about it. We're playing with it. We're trying to figure it out. All right, since we've tried everything else on my hair, we might as well give the red a try. Now my fingers get to look like blood. All right. Right there in the front. There you go. <laughs> and I'm going to do that same technique, just sort of dabbing it in instead of trying to spread it on and see if that helps. Is my curl staying? Uh, yeah. It's not disrupting too much and the color looks like it's going on nice and dark. You're red. I'm red. <laughs> I'm going to go into the bedroom to put things away and my husband's going to look at me and go, when did you decide to test the rainbow? <laughs> there is no rainbow. I have no yellow, orange, or green. Skittles. But that's an interesting color. I think I actually like that color. <laughs> Can you be a redhead like me? The thing is, with a temporary dye, I could take it out any time and not feel like I'm stuck with a color or have to um, strip it to get it out. They say redheads have more fun. Okay. And now I can't open anything. Now I can't open anything because my fingers are wet. There we go. Ah! I'm going to try you over on the side again. Just do it the same way. Doing the fluff. Okay, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> that looks cool. Groovy, dude. Groovy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay, that is fun. And now that I have a way I can apply it if it doesn't work when my hair is damp, that's fun. That's kind of cool. Mom's excited to be coloring her hair. <laughs> I think I am. But like I said, I, I, I definitely want to keep it temporary. But apparently, you know, I can't do what other people with a thicker, uh, kinkier texture can do. They can just put it in their hair and wipe it in. And I can't do that because when I do that, I lose my curl. Whereas when they do that, because of the structure of their hair, they don't lose their curl. If that makes sense? Mm-hmm. We have to keep Autumn out of it. <laughs> Do you think she would keep it just on her hair? <laughs> I'm thinking that's a no. <laughs> Okay, you know, I, honestly, I think this red is the thickest one of all of them that I'm feeling. So they do each seem to have a little bit of a different consistency, just slightly. I'm not sure why that is. But now that I've got something I can play with, the white is a little weird, but <laughs> we got the white for a specific purpose, or I got the white for a specific purpose. I think that I would play around with these. I do want to try the... Um, conditioner type, the overtone type, or their conditioner type of color application. It does the same thing to my fingers. It has that same, the blue has that same um, sheen to it on my hands that the wax does. So um, I will play around with these some more. I will probably let my daughter play around with them a little bit more. We won't let the grandbaby play around with them at all. <laughs> they probably will end up on walls clothing, furniture, cats. cats. <laughs> so we will play around with it a little bit and I will have to report back. And like I said, I will probably end up picking up some of their conditioner type. I do think that I like the consistency of this one better. The wax one is heavier and not as creamy. And I think that's why it's such a problem for my hair. And uh, these seem to have that lighter, 
lighter feel to them so I can do a little bit more with them. They still need to dry. You need to let them dry for a while. I'm not sure how long they take to dry. Um, I got glitter all over my fingers. There, I don't know if anyone's going to see it. But whatever is in there gave me a glitter sheen. I don't know if you guys can see it at all, but there's glitter all over my fingers. She always turns into a pixie. So we will get back to you. We'll let you know. I'll bring her back when we report back on these. And like I said, I'm going to try to pick up some of their conditioner one and try and play around with that too. My only concern with the conditioner one is that it would be a bit more permanent. It, um, from what I've read about Overtone, it lasts for as long as you continue to use it. So if I condition to get the color one day and then the next day wash it out, it would be gone. I don't know. If I don't use the conditioner. I would imagine so, but I don't know. Because these like wash out with one wash. It would require more research. Well, we'll have to play around with them at some point and we're planning to pick those up too. I got a little bit frizzy on the top here. They Not have a surprised. color I want to try. My red feels like it's already dry. I'm not getting anything on my fingers, except glitter. <laughs> glitter! Uh, the white where you applied a little more heavily is not yet dry. The purple is, and obviously over here it's it's doing its thing. I need to borrow one of those. <laughs> we have like a pile of wipes over here because we're, we're like she said, we're like kids and in, in playing with paint. Because we're playing with paint, just hair paint. Anyway, that's it for today, and I hope you like what you've seen, and if you do like what you've seen, I hope that you will subscribe, and if you subscribe, lots of ifs here, if you subscribe, I hope you will click that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but we do occasionally have bonus videos where I open, you know, indie brand boxes, or my son gets to open a box. I have spoken to or his father. Me. Or hair paint. This is not going to be a bonus video. This is going up as a straight video. Okay. <laughs> this is not a bonus video. I have spoken to my son's father about the loot crate. He hasn't heard anything. He's gone ahead and emailed them to find out what's going on. And I suppose he's still looking at the different available subscriptions to decide what he's going to get to replace it. But he is planning to replace it. We're just waiting for that to all happen. So those of you who are waiting for him, He'll come back. Honest, he will. He'll come back. If you're part of my notification squad, you'll want to check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. This should not be as big of a problem as it was before. It has been much better for me in recent weeks. So hopefully if they've got that all fixed. Have it. Just have to say it. Anyway, and if you choose not to subscribe, well, we'd be disappointed and sad. However, you are always welcome back because we love having the company. And if you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Alrighty, so she steeped a little bit longer. Like I said, it's already been here in here for five minutes before we started. So the flavor is probably where it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna go ahead and give her another sip. Okay, so whatever it was that hit me wrong the first time has mellowed out as the tea has cooled down. You definitely get peach and ginger in this. However, to me, the peach tastes a little synthetic. Maybe it's better Fake. as an iced tea. It might be. We might try that. We might try it as an iced tea at some point. Um, but it does have that... Uh, I, don't, I can't even explain it, but you know if you've tasted a fresh peach and then you taste something that has peach flavoring in it, you can tell the difference. And this has that a slight bit of that difference in it. It's like tasting grapes and then I can taste purple. That's not quite that bad. I do get peach out of this, but that's it. I, yeah. Grape soda is not grape soda. It's purple. It's purple. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it. We all hope you have a great day and 